Hi Stampers! Thanks for joining me. I wanted to show you this fabulous card made with the new Swallowtail stamp set. Here's the inside and it uses a couple of different techniques embossing, bleaching and some glitter. Isn't it just pretty? I was really pleased with the way this turned out and I'll show you how I did it. You're going to need the En Francais stamp set, some Tempting Turquoise ink and Tempting Turquoise A4 cardstock cut in half. And I'm going to place the En Francais stamp set roughly in the centre of this piece of cardstock. I'll be cutting it down later so it doesn't really matter if it's perfectly square or not. Here's the beautiful Swallowtail stamps and it's, isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Now I'm putting on some Versamark ink and just straightening that up and stamping that down into the, about the centre of where I've stamped the En Francais script. And I forgot to use my embossing buddy and you can see how it's really sticking here. Remember to use yours. Here's some black embossing powder and the heat tool. I'm just going to show you how it starts to really get nice and glossy. I'm bringing in some household bleach and a paintbrush and I'm using the bleach to fade out some of that cardstock. You can see how I'm creating like a drop shadow. And I'm only using the bleach on some of the parts of the butterfly, leaving the centre parts and those edges around the lower wings as they are, so that they'll remain dark. And as the bleach activates, those parts that have been bleached becomes lighter and the other pieces remain the same colour. So it really gives you a two-tone effect of butterfly with that beautiful drop shadow. Now this time I'm remembering to use my embossing buddy. And this inside piece of Tempting Turquoise, you're going to stamp the Swallowtail stamp set and it matches the Papillon Potpourri stamp set. There's a small Swallowtail image in that one. And the Pursuit of Happiness stamp set is where I got the little verse inside. Now I'm going to ink those up, the same process on the inside with the Versamark ink and I'm stamping the swallowtail, small swallowtail image down at an angle and then the sentiment goes in the centre near the top. Now I'm using the black embossing powder. Be nice and generous when you sprinkle this over because you're going to put all that leftover back into the container when you're finished. I have a nice soft paint brushes, only a couple of little places because I used my embossing buddy this turned out much better. Now I'm embossing it and you can see how nice and shiny it's become. And I'm going to set three black glimmer brads, half an inch apart, using the piercing tool on the piercing mat. And I found that these were rather hard to open because they're a little bit painted shut. So you just get your pokey tool and pop in there and they'll open up easily for you. So I set three of those along the bottom of the inside piece so it looks like this. And now I'm going to show you the bleaching technique with the small swallowtail butterfly inside. I'm just using the bleach around the outside. Initially it looks darker but it is, as it activates with the cardboard it becomes much paler. And now I'm going to do that little drop shadow. This is what makes the butterflies look as though they are popping right off the page. It's a little artist's technique and it's really simple. Now that's going to dry. You can see how the bleach has activated and turned the paper a much paler shade of turquoise. And it's a good idea if you're doing this to have a practice on some scratch paper just to see how it's going to turn out. I was very happy with the results with the bleach on this paper and I also used it to test out the glitter techniques. I'm going to show you how to use the dazzling details and get a very subtle technique just by painting it on with a paintbrush so that it's all nice and flat. And less is more with this, it looks better the less you use, it just is a nice subtle approach, still very sparkly. Now you're going to adhere all of this to the inside of the card with sticky strips, uh, excuse me, sticky strip the same as the front piece and isn't that just divine. I was so happy with the way this turned out and I'll just bring it in closer so you can see all that beautiful detail. It truly is a pretty card. I had lots of enjoyment making this card. 
If you'd like to come to one of my classes, I hold regular classes in my Sydney studio in Sydney's Inner West. I'd love to see you there or hop on over to my blog, my Facebook page and let me know that you enjoyed this video tutorial. Thanks so much. I'll see you again next time. Bye.